In this tutorial, we will learn about functional programming or FP. We all know about functions. A program can have different functions. A function can invoke another function, which in turn can invoke another. But this is not functional programming. Functional programming or FP is a totally different concept. It's a programming paradigm or coding style which is independent of any programming languages. Most modern programming languages, including Java, supports FP. Functional programming was originated from mathematics. In FP, code blocks or functions can exist in isolation. That is not part of a class or an object. It allows you to assign a function to a variable. It is also possible to pass a function as a parameter to another function. Not only that, you can even return a function from another. FP is actually a paradigm shift from imperative programming to declarative style of programming. Imperative programming is the approach that we followed in the past. Let's see how do you solve a problem in imperative programming style. Take an example of printing first 10 numbers to console. So what do you need to do this? You need a range of numbers from 1 to 10 and print each of them. But how will you get a range of numbers? You have to create a loop, increment the value of an iterator variable, check the value of this variable for the boundary and print the values, right? So instead of thinking what to do, we thought how to do in imperative style of programming. So it becomes complex and it takes uh, you know more time to achieve your goals. But in FP, we follow a different approach, which is declarative programming. Here, you just think what to do instead of how to do it. Now let's move into an ID and solve our example problem that we discussed in both the approaches. Well, I have a project here. So our problem is to print first n digits and let us try to solve it using the imperative approach. So let me create a class first. Uh, let me name it as uh, imperative maybe. All right. So here, now let me create main method, public static void main in IntelliJ. You can use this shortcut PSVM. Yeah. So now how do we get the first 10 integers so obviously we need to have a loop let's have a for loop and we need to have a variable int i equals one and then we need to check whether i is less than or equal to 10 and we need to increment our variable for iteration right now let us print the value of i right so here, if you execute it, obviously it will print the first 10 integers. Yeah. Here you see the result. Right? So look at this program. Our aim, our goal was to print the first 10 integers. For that, we created a for loop. So how do we get the numbers? We, we, we need to think how, right? For getting the first n numbers, you know, we implemented a loop and how do we get the numbers using I mean, this loop you need to have a uh, variable i then you need to increment the variable in every iteration then you need to make a comparison as well right whether i is greater less than or equal to 10 and then you need to print it out so there are a lot of things that we are doing here so though our goal is to print a range of numbers we are doing a lot of things we are thinking how to do it and we are doing many things so this is imperative approach. Now let us see how we can do the same using declarative approach using functional programming. So let me create another class for that. Maybe let me name it as uh, declarative. Let me zoom it a bit. All right. So here also, let me create the main method, public static void main. All right, 
Now, we need to think what is to be done. This is declarative approach. So instead of thinking how, we need to think what, what is to be done. So we need to get a range of integers, right? So let us get the numbers first. Okay, so we need to get a range of numbers starting from one up to 10. So give me 11 here. So it will give me numbers up to 10. Then what should I do? So for each number, what should I perform? Here I can specify what action I can perform. I need to print it out. That is what I'm saying. So here, get a range of numbers from one until 11, that means one to 10. And then for each number, what should I do? I need to print it out. So let us execute it and see the result. Here you are seeing the result. Here you are getting the values printed from 1 to 10. Okay. So just look at this code. It is very concise and clear. So rather than thinking too much about how to solve, how to perform each task, we are just focusing on what are the things to be done for achieving our goals. So there are two things that we discussed. We need to get a range of numbers. So that is what we have written here. There is an int stream, digit stream to get a range of numbers. And then for each of these numbers, what to perform is printing. So simple, right? So look at this. Uh, let's see what each of these components are. This int stream is an interface. And this range is a method, it's a static method. And what about for each? This is again a method, right? And inside this method, we are passing something. What is this println? We know that this is also a method. So we are passing a method into this function, right? So remember we discussed, when we discussed about functional programming, we discussed like we can pass a method, we can pass a function inside as a parameter to another function. So that is what we are doing it here. Hope that you got an idea about functional programming and I'll see you in the next video.